Speaking of the investigation, it will look at the and focus on the underground vault where those two employees were working. Yeah, Team 12's Joe Dana has been looking into why the vaults pose a danger. You know, underground utility vaults are the sites of work related deaths every year around the country. The Labor Safety Agency, known as OSHA, that inspects companies, has many requirements to keep these tight spaces as safe as possible. They are poorly ventilated and can be highly combustible. Thousands of electrical utility vaults are found across the country. It's unknown how many APS operates in Arizona. Over the past two decades, industry safety experts have raised concerns nationwide about aging vaults that need to be upgraded or replaced. When asked about maintenance of the vault where the APS employee died last night, a spokesperson for the company did not comment. 12 News has been looking at inspection reports from OSHA that show there were concerns about how APS adhered to standards for confined spaces back in 2011. However, we're waiting for more details on what exactly those concerns entail. In the meantime, a task force involving the Phoenix Fire Department and Phoenix Police is in charge of the investigation into what caused this terrible, chaotic scene that took the life of a dedicated employee and military veteran. Uh, you heard Michael Dowden uh, mention earlier that Phoenix Fire had turned over the investigation. They have clarified that they are actually investigating this with Phoenix Police. Now, APS has told reporters that maintenance was planned. It was normal last night that employees were replacing a cable and an electrical flash and subsequent fire then just occurred out of this thing. The task force that I mentioned will work to identify the cause of the flash and just what might have fueled those flames. And we'll continue to update the story as it develops. Guys, back to you. All right, Joe, thank you.